What's up everyone, Andrew Anime Toys is back for another new review and we have here a gem series of Hunter x Hunter based of the creator of Yu Yu Hakusho, Yoshihiro Togashi and we have here Kilua Soldic and this video is sponsored by Figure Shop to Go. Let me introduce you Ki Lua. He's a young, unpredictable boy of the age of 12 years old. He have a messy silver hair, usually dressed like a skater. He wears sports shoes, shorts, and a t-shirt with a long sleeves. In the beginning of the story, he carried a skateboard with him. He was introduced in the manga Chapter 6 and the anime remake of 2011, Episode 3. Let me tell you about this figure is really beautiful and you can see the detail looks amazing and Mega House did a wonderful job like always they do with their, all their products. I really enjoy the painting and the scope of Kilua's body. Also what makes this figure awesome, you're getting some accessories like the small skateboard and the wheels could spin in circles and you're getting two switchable arms and a switchable face and a Kilua's base, this figure is worth the money to get it. Looking at the left side of Kilua and you can see a better view of the detail and like I said before the paint job looks amazing and it's awesome that Mega House are making the X Hunter X Hunter figures and I think the next release will be Isoka sometime in December and then will be Gone will be released next year. If you appreciate this anime, if you are interested you can buy this at figureshop2go.com. We can see the back side of the figure and you can see the figure is in good shape. And let me tell you, the skateboard is made of plastic material and the skateboard truck is made of metal and that's really awesome. Overall, this figure is fantastic and you won't be disappointed on the Mega House figures. Each time they get better and better. Let's look at the right side of this figure and it looks perfect and again I don't see any problem with Kilua. And let me tell you something for those who love collecting anime figures. Are you happy that finally Mega House gave the chance to release this anime into figures? And what kind of figures will you love to see in the next anime line? As for me, I wish Mega House released some Dragon Ball Z in the future. Alright everyone, as you saw all the angle of Kilua, I want to ask you a question about it. What do you think about this figure? Do you think this figure looks amazing? Is worth the price? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment below. And let me show you more of the detail in the spin table mode and enjoy.
when you switch to second phase, you're getting the fake expression when Kilua gets upset and he don't show his true feelings and become emotionless. That's when he's switching to the cold assassin mode and he is ready to eliminate his enemies without mercy. This figure is awesome for adding this up and I'm glad Mega House did a great job on the face expression. And now you're getting two different arms like I said before. And when you switch it, Kilua is ready for his attack when he uses his transmutation power that he can tolerate high voltage. And he's ready for his electric shock. Overall, this figure is badass. Alright everyone, we are in the end of this review and I hope everybody enjoyed this review also. And if you want, you can subscribe me and friend request only if you want to, no pressure, okay? It's up to you guys. Okay, please visit at figureshop2go.com if you are interested on buying this figure and many more other anime products. And please support X Hunter X Hunter. It's a great show. Plus, it's the same creator of Yu Yu Hakusho. You won't regret watching this anime. Okay, let me give you my last opinion. What I think about Kiloa, in all honesty, this figure rocks. The detail wise and body scope and paint job looks amazing. Also, I like about this figure, you're getting an extra accessories like the skateboard, the switchable face and arms makes this figure worth getting it. Okay, this is Andrew Anime Toys and I'll see you on the next review.